Good day everyone! We are down to the last topic for Farm 225, Complementary and Alternative Medicine. Our final topic for this subject is energy therapy. And here are the group 9 who will discuss its relevant information, precisely its principles and applications. And I encourage everyone to take down notes as we go on with the discussion. Table of Contents Here are the contents that we will discuss for today's lesson. Introduction to energy therapy, its brief history and principles, some terms to define, applications of energy therapy, and takeaways. Energy therapy or energy medicine is an alternative medicine practice based on the idea that each person has an energy field that encloses the physical body. Practitioners of energy therapy believe that a person's physical, emotional, and spiritual health depend upon the free flow of this energy throughout the body, whereas negative emotions and health issues result from the blockages in this energy flow. The basic idea of energy therapy is that the removal of these blockages in the energy field will restore health to the body, mind, and spirit. The National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health, or NCCIH, says that this category of complementary therapies involves the use of various types of energy fields, which, in general, the goal of energy therapies is to bring energy into the patient or balance the energy within a patient. This means that energy is both the medicine and the patient. We heal the body by activating its natural healing energies and restoring energies that have become weak, disturbed, or out of balance. Energy medicine uses light, sound, and magnets as treatments. These are relatively easy to measure. Other kinds of energy therapy are healing touch, Reiki, Qigong, and therapeutic touch. These are intended to affect energy fields that purportedly surround and penetrate the human body. These are not easily measured or researched. The Brief History of Energy Medicine Recently, energy medicine has come under increasing study by the scientific community. While energy medicine has existed in various forms for centuries, the current field of energy medicine does not have one absolute definition. The answer to the question, what is energy medicine, varies according to the energy medicine practitioner. There is no standard scientific understanding or precise meaning of these ideas in the Western scientific paradigm. Although various explanations are offered for energy medicine in terms of a vital force or life energy, a new paradigm for researching biology and medicine based on energy information is required to define energy medicine. The phenomenon of energy and healing was first observed thousands of years ago by Chinese healers who identified 12 major meridians or pathways of energy in the body. These meridians link various limbs and organs together in an intricate network. When this energy field is strong and vibrant, the entire organism remains healthy and balanced. When it is weakened or disturbed by any number of factors, the body becomes increasingly subject to weakness, sickness, and eventually death. The Essential Principles of Energy Medicine First, energies both electromagnetic energies and more subtle energies form the dynamic infrastructure of the physical body. Second, the health of those energies in terms of flow, balance, and harmony is reflected in the health of the body. Conversely, when the body is not healthy, corresponding disturbances in its energies can be identified and balanced. To overcome illness and maintain vibrant health, the body needs its energies to move and have space to continue to move. Energies may become blocked due to toxins, muscular or other constriction, prolonged stress or interference from other energies. Next, 
move in specific patterns. Generally, in harmony with the physical structures and functions that the energies animate and support. Flow follows function. At all levels, move from the micro level to the macro level parts of the body. Specifically, from the micro level of the double helix of DNA, extending to the macro level where the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body and the right side to the left. Next, maintain a balance with other energies. The energies may lose their natural balance due to prolonged stress or other conditions that keep specific energy systems in a survival mode. The last principle is that flow, balance, and harmony can be non-invasively restored and maintained within an energy system by tapping, massaging, pinching, twisting, or connecting specific energy points on the skin. Next, tracing or swirling the hand over the skin along specific energy pathways. Another is that exercises are postures designed for specific energetic effects. Focus use of the mind to move specific energies. Lastly, surrounding an area with healing energies because one person's energies impacts another's. Energy medicine. This approach uses energy therapies either biofield or bioelectromagnetic based interventions. Focuses either on energy fields thought to originate within the body or on fields from other sources. It is possible to use energy medicine to supplement traditional medical care and a complete self-care and self-help system for oneself. It can treat both physical and mental health issues and promote high levels of wellness and peak performance all at the same time. Natural healing energies are activated in the body and those that have become weak, disturbed, or imbalanced. Acupuncture, yoga, kinesiology, and qigong or qigong are all examples of energy medicine therapies. Therapeutic touch. It is also known as the healing touch. It is a complementary and alternative medicine technique based on the idea that the human body is a conduit for life force energy. Practitioners who softly touch or pass their hands over a patient's body are said to balance or strengthen this energy. The effects of therapeutic touch on cancer patients' quality of life, immune system, and side effects are being explored. The Mayo Clinic's Denise Milstein, MD, says that therapeutic touch has been used to reduce cancer patients' anxiety and improve their well-being, but these results haven't been thoroughly studied. Many holistic nurses now use therapeutic touch as part of their patient care regimens, and it has become widely accepted. Magnetic Field Therapy It uses different magnets in the body to help boost your overall health. It may also help treat certain conditions. The earth and the human body create electric and magnetic fields. Radio and the television waves, for example, use technology to generate electromagnetic fields. They believe that the body, earth, and the other electromagnetic fields interact to affect our physical and emotional well-being. They also hold that good health is dependent on a healthy functioning electromagnetic field within the human body. Static Magnetic Field Therapy To use this, you must somehow attach a magnet to your skin. Jewelry with magnets such as bracelet can be worn. A magnet in a bandage or shoe insole could do the trick. You might also use a magnetized mattress pad to help you drift off to sleep. Electrically Charged Magnetic Therapy or Electromagnetic Therapy the magnets you employ here have an electric charge. Treatment with electromagnetic therapy typically comes through an electric pulse. Magnetic therapy with acupuncture. An acupuncturist would likely focus on the same skin regions during an acupuncture session. Thus, magnets are placed on those same areas of your skin. You may hear these areas called your energy pathways or channels. The following are energy therapy services and its applications. What is Qigong? Qigong is a study and practice of cultivating vital life force through various techniques, including breathing techniques, postures, meditations, and guided imagery. 
Generally, all Qigong practitioners incorporate exercises and techniques from all the three categories, and the only difference is their focus. There are many forms and styles of Qigong, but they all fit into one of the three main categories. Medical Qigong to heal self and others, it is the oldest of the four branches of traditional Chinese medicine and the energetic foundation from which acupuncture, herbal medicine, and Chinese medicine originated. Martial Qigong for physical prowess. Martial Qigong practitioners can break bricks, bend steel wires, play sharp objects in vulnerable parts of the body without damaging the skin, or sustain physical impact from baseball bats. Spiritual Qigong for enlightenment. This type of Qigong uses mantras, mudras or hand positions, sitting meditations, and prayers to pursue enlightenment. The goal of Qigong is to correct the imbalances that have accumulated through a person's lifetime. Imbalances occur from deep-seated emotions, stress, anger, anxiety, depression, grief, and etc., trauma or injury, improper diet, excessive sexual activity, lack of exercise, and etc. Imbalances may also be acquired from our parents, both constitutional and emotional. Practicing Qigong and receiving Qigong healing activates acupuncture points, meridians, and organ systems according to traditional Chinese medicine. Therefore, practicing and receiving Qigong is similar to a powerful acupuncture treatment. Qigong also likely works in the same manner as other physical exercise to relieve emotional stress. What is Therapeutic Touch? Therapeutic touch is categorized as a biofield energy therapy by the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health. NCCIH notes that although scientists are studying this phenomenon, the existence of such fields has not yet been definitely proven. In therapeutic touch, therapists place their hands on or near their patient's body with the intention to help or heal. The focus is on balancing the energies of the total person and stimulating the body's own natural healing ability rather than on the treatment of specific physical diseases. How is therapeutic touch beneficial? The goal of therapeutic touch is to assist the recipient in tapping into their own healing process and to restore wholeness and well-being at the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual levels of the person. It is noted that therapeutic touch does not attempt to cure disease but rather to stimulate the body's natural healing process. According to therapeutic touch text, the major effects of therapeutic touch are deep relaxation response, reduction of pain and anxiety, and faster wound healing. Practitioners believe that this therapy promotes health and well-being and eases the dying process. Patients who are undergoing chemotherapy or radiation have found it helpful in reducing side effects of treatment such as nausea, vomiting, weakness, or fatigue. Others have seen reduced feelings of anxiety or grief. Therapeutic touch can benefit people of all ages and all states of health or illness as well as plants and animals. This therapy is generally very safe, but precautions need to be taken with pregnant women since there is more than one energy field and the people with some forms of mental illness. Experienced practitioners will take these factors into account. One of the main objectives of this lesson is to distinguish the different ways of performing therapeutic touch locally and globally. So, we shall tackle it also. The globally known practice in each session is a typical session lasts approximately 15 to 30 minutes. You will sit in a comfortable chair and lie down fully clothed. The therapeutic touch practitioner will begin by discussing your goals for healing. Therapeutic touch practitioners generally follow these steps. Center themselves in the present moment and bring themselves to a calm, quiet state of consciousness. Assess the client's energy field. Clear and mobilize the client's energy field. Direct energy to achieve fullness and balance the field. Evaluate and close the treatment. Ask for feedback and answer client questions. However, here in the Philippines, therapeutic touch or healing touch is also known as HELOT. But before that, we should know the difference between healing touch and therapeutic touch. In healing touch, the practitioner does not actually have physical contact with the patient but positions the hand above different parts of the body with the intention of facilitating healing. In contrast, in therapeutic touch, the practitioner uses gentle touch. Helot is a very unique word in the sense that it refers to the person administering the treatment as well as the treatment itself. Since HELOT is a healing modality, the first step is to determine the area of energy blockage. 
banana leaf method is a known session in the Philippines, where in drips of banana leaf were laced with warm virgin coconut oil, the point where the banana leaf stops or gets stuck is the area of the body with an energy block. The helot is concentrated on this part of the body. A new banana leaf strip is used for each body area. The energy blockage or barrier disrupts the balance in the body, causing discomfort. A patient is warned by the helot against taking a bath within 24 hours of having the treatment as it is reported that the helot believes that the sudden change in temperature when taking a bath will not encourage the restoration of balance. Cold drinks and cold food are likewise prohibited for the same reason. What is Reiki? Reiki is a form of complementary therapy relating to energy healing. Reiki therapy is a gentle touch therapy that involves the placing of the therapist or patient's hand on various locations on the patient's body to promote relaxation and a sense of calm. The techniques that Reiki involves have names such as centering, clearing, beaming, extr extracting harmful energies, infusing, smoothing, and raking the aura. Some Reiki practitioners will use crystals and chakra healing ones to enable healing or protect a home from negative energy. Types of Reiki Yusui Reiki, Tibetan Reiki, Karuna Reiki, Jendai Reiki, Rainbow Reiki, Sikkim Reiki, Vitarian Reiki. Health Benefits of Reiki Reiki promotes relaxation, stress reduction, and symptom relief to improve over health and well-being. Reiki practitioners use their hands to deliver energy to your body, improving the flow and balance of your energy to support healing. It can bring on a meditative state foster tissue and bone healing after injury or surgery, stimulate your body's immune system, promote natural self-healing, relieve pain and tension, and support the well-being of people receiving traditional medical treatments such as chemotherapy, radiation, surgery, and kidney dialysis. What is magnetic field therapy? Magnetic field therapy, a form of alternative medicine using magnetic fields to treat medical conditions. Permanent magnets are placed close to the body in order to cause bones to heal faster, relieve pain, and induce other therapeutic effects. Practitioners may apply magnetic field therapy to the outside of the body. The magnets may be electrically charged to deliver an electrical pulse to the treated area with acupuncture needles to treat energy pathways in the body. Static, stationary on the treated area for periods of time to deliver continuous treatment. Static magnetic field therapy, applied via a permanent magnet attached to the skin, is used by people worldwide for self-care. Electromagnetic therapy, electrically charged magnetic therapy applied to promote bone healing, treat osteoarthritis, and inflammatory diseases of the musculoskeletal system, alleviate pain, enhance healing of ulcers, and reduce spasticity, and also extremely low frequency. Magnetic fields in the Pico Tesla and Mili Tesla ranges are aimed at improving neutral transmission and correcting local immune pathology, respectively. Magnetic field therapy. A magnet is placed in the same section of your body that an acupuncturist would focus on during an acupuncture session in an attempt to clear your energy pathways or channels. Is magnetic field therapy safe? Magnet treatment is relatively safe. Young children and pregnant women should not use magnetic field therapy because the safety of this therapy is not proved. Side effects only happen in very small percentage of cases. Some patients may experience dizziness, low energy, palpitation, nausea, and vomiting. Side effects can include decreased blood pressure or local skin areas can become itchy, burning, and painful. How is magnetic field beneficial? Magnetic therapy is a growing field of medicine that harnesses the power of magnets to deliver meaningful treatment. While the current research is new, magnets have been used in health for millennia. Ions like calcium and potassium help your cells send signals. What is magnetic field therapy used for? Uses different kinds of magnets on the body to help boost overall health. It may also help treat certain conditions. Most magnetic field therapy is treatment option for different types of pain, like in your feet and back. Scientists have specifically studied its use for arthritis pain, wound healing, insomnia, headaches, and fibromyalgia pain. Who shouldn't use it? While it's generally safe for most people to wear low-intensity static magnets, it's not a good idea to have magnetic field therapy if you use a pacemaker, have insulin pump, and pregnant. You should also take off any magnets before having an x-ray or getting an MRI. How magnetic field therapy works? Our body naturally have magnetic and electric fields. All our molecules have a small amount of magnetic energy in them. The thought behind magnetic field therapy is that certain problems happen because your magnetic fields are out of balance. If you put magnetic field near your body, it believes things will go back to normal. With such broad mechanism of action, magnetic therapy may have a wide range of benefits. Pain relief, the most frequently stated application for magnetic therapy. This is what led the growth of magnetic bracelets and jewelries. Insomnia, 
A study of patients with insomnia found that impulse magnetic field therapy may be beneficial in reducing symptoms and supporting healthy sleep. Depression. The use of magnetic therapy products has been particularly effective in those who are responsive, unresponsive to medication and other traditional treatments for depression. And last, cancer. A most study found that magnetic therapy may play a role in reducing cancer cells. I always leave feeling so much better than when I started. I found it really relaxing. I would have healing touch actually during my chemotherapy. It's a mentally tough journey to go through cancer treatment. It just helps to calm things. Going through cancer treatment is an emotional experience. It's a physical experience. It's, it's very tough. It's so refreshing to be able to go in and talk to a patient about this is something that I want to do that focuses on your mind, that focuses on your body. We're not injecting you with something else. We're not making you go down for an x-ray. We're going to try to really help you feel better. And I think a lot of people respond to that. Healing Touch is a light touch technique that uses hand positions that are either on or just above the body. I'm a nurse. I'm an RN. I've been a nurse here at the hospital for over 25 years. I see Healing Touch as supportive. It's complementary to the treatments that patients are receiving. Healing Touch can provide that time to be still and go to that quiet place within. What I've heard back from patients is they just feel that it helps with symptoms like nausea, and I think it just it has a calming effect. I've had some people tell me they slept better. It could help them get through these very difficult therapies better. Sometimes things are running through your mind and what maybe you have to do and what's going on. And after my first session, there was no turning back. It's common to be depressed in the winter time, but for some, it's a problem that doesn't go away when the sun shines. Depression affects more than 16 million adults every year. University of Missouri healthcare specialists are using a non-invasive treatment that uses magnets to provide relief. Sonia Kibbe has a full life. Zero to one. She works as a physical therapist, is raising two sons, and enjoys weekly pickleball games with a group at her church. But last year, a bout of severe depression stopped her in her tracks. I get to where I have trouble making decisions, just dumb little decisions that we make that we don't even think about, I have to think about. And it's just, and then it just gets me more stressed out because every little decision is hard. Even with medication and therapy, Sonia was hospitalized multiple times as she tried to battle her depression and thoughts of suicide. Then she heard about a treatment called transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS. This coil delivers powerful magnetic pulses to target part of the brain associated with mood. Dr. Moyad Ithman runs the TMS program at University of Missouri Healthcare. These pulses will stimulate neurotransmitters, which are the chemical signals, which will improve the communication between different regions of the brain that are responsible for mood regulations and over time this will improve the symptoms of depression. It feels like someone gently tapping on your head which can cause a headache. Sonia took an over-the-counter pain reliever before her daily 20-minute treatments. After just one week she noticed a real difference. My mom had offered you know, why don't you go get your hair cut? You know, when I was really depressed and I just said, no, I just don't feel like it. I just didn't feel like doing anything nice for myself. So um, that during that second week, I went and got a haircut and I just felt so much better. After more than 30 treatments, her symptoms of depression almost disappeared. The treatment is recommended for people like Sonia who don't find relief with medication and therapy. It's generally covered by insurance. Basically 50-60% of people who suffer from treatment-resistant depression will see a, a clinically meaningful response to TMS and one third of these people will go into remission, which means that their symptoms will completely will go away. Sonia was able to get back to work and get back to the activities and friends she enjoys.
Energy medicine is the ancient wisdom inside each human being. It is a bioelectric-based natural intelligence with a magnetic pole directing living organisms toward health. Any deviation from this innate attraction to grounded wellness creates disease. Without a well-integrated and widely recognized transition to human touch and device-based energy therapies, medicine would continue to lack the missing piece of science needed to complete the human cycle of existence. Energy is not static. Like a rechargeable battery, our energy follows a cycle between depleted and replenished according to the environment we live in, how we are living, and what we are doing, which is our lifestyle. Energy therapy has been around for centuries and has origins in a variety of techniques, such as Qigong, Reiki, and the teachings of many non-Western approaches to disease, pain treatment, health, and well-being. Advances in scientific knowledge about energy and the development of new technology have made energy treatment more accessible to a wider range of individuals.